Hi guys, so this video is about the current rules on the AIPs, the CAOs, the CASRs and how to find them for, um, it's really going to be handy for the CPL, the PPL and the RPL but I reckon the RAOs guys really ought to learn to use this, it's going to make, just watching this video and having a bit of a play, it's going to make your study a lot easier as well. So um, let's have a quick look, the CAA is just going to be effective to the regulators, forget about it pretty much. The CARs, um, you'll have to know some of them. So if you flick over to my RPL and PPL page, you'll find that about halfway down I've included this section here. Sorry, just above it I've got a heap of useful downloads. And then just below it, I've got the CAAPs, the CAOs, the CASRs that will be highly relevant, and the AIP, and also the CAR. Okay, so that's going to give you a quick... Um, guideline as to where to find things. So if we have a look in the CAOs, you'll notice there's a bit of a pattern. It's around the 20s. Okay, now where you can get to those is you go here to there and you go click on 20 and that'll bring up this section here which will be the Federal Aviation Legislation and there's all the CAOs um, in the 20 range there. Okay, so then back to my website just to uh, continue on with what's relevant. The CASRs, most of those are going to be in section uh, 61. Now, when you go to this website and you click on the CASRs, it's going to take you to this um, Federal Aviation Registration. Now, all of 61 is going to be in volume 2. Okay, so that's going to be, depending on which version you want there, I just use the PDF version, um, and they're all going to be in there. So, what you're going to find in here, I'll just get you an example. All this stuff here about the limitation for a student pilot is going to be relevant. You know, flying without a license, um, operation without a radio license. So that's when you're a student pilot. So all this 61 section you're going to find is um, is quite relevant. Um, and then you'll get into um, later on in 61, you'll get into the commercial pilot license stuff. Okay. So then the CAR, which you can access there, is going to take you to this site. And when you first get here, it's going to have all these uh, minimised. And what you pretty much after here is volume free. Almost everything that you want out of the CAR is going to be in volume three. So here's a list of the types of tro pop topics that they're going to cover. You know, rules of the air, flight rules. Um, they're all going to be in there. That's going to be in your exams, um, whether you're RALs, RPL or PPL. So RALs typically don't come digging around in here. They tend to rely on the RALs. Um, Textbooks alone, but if this is if you really actually want to find it, double check something. Um, this is where you come to. Okay. So then the next thing you want going to want is um, the CAPs. Now CAPs are advisory publications, and they're in here, um, and you can just scroll through them all. Um, I've listed again. I've listed the ones that will be relevant back here on the website. Okay, these are the ones that are going to be really relevant to your exam, and you can download them. Um, all from here if you want to read them in detail. So then the next thing you're going to want is the AIP or URSA if you don't already have it and you can get it from here. It's going to take you to the Air Services website where you have to agree to their terms and conditions. Then you can um, download it. You know, notice there's always um, two versions. Okay, there's the, the current one and the one that's about to come out. Um, so, and then down here is URSA, okay, the on route supplement and you probably need that as well. And there's some other things there if you want it, but they're the main two you want them there would be the AIP book um, and the, the URSA. So then what's going to happen if you hit URSA, it's going to bring you here and you can go through facilities and say grab the facilities for Bal Balan and Byron there or the uh, RDS. The other thing that you want here is when you get to the AIP, this is really, really important for everyone. You need to know how to find the contents in the AIP. Now, Straight away, I want to show you something, right? It's a 462-page document, but have importantly note this. The contents don't start, the index contents here, sorry, don't start to page 19. I'm in the general one at the moment. Okay, so it's the general AIP. And you need to really familiarize yourself with this about where you're going to find certain things that are going to be in your exam. So... Uh, for example, if it's to do with, okay, so here's a classic one. If it's to do with decoding an R4, we're right down here now, and I'm on page 32, and I'm still in the content section, 
Um, but you'll notice it has all the detail of what you're going to need to do. This is a brilliant document uh, for passing your exam. If you know how to use, quickly use, this content section and find what you're after, you know. If you're after, um, after us, for example, there's going to be questions on first light and last light, okay. Conversion tables, um, computations for local time. So all of this stuff is in the AIPE, the general, and you want to be able to find it rapidly in this table of contents. So very, I strongly encourage you to familiarise yourself with this and um, know where to find stuff. So if we just flick back to Ursa for a sec, again, you want to familiarise yourself with it. Um, there's going to be some handy stuff in here, um, especially if some of the questions are going to rely on you to head to Ursa and find out uh, perhaps some information about an aerodrome. Um, so that would, might be in there or it could be in the facility section. And then the other thing that you're going to probably rely on is this conversion uh, section when you have to do calculations. So you've got the ab gas and stuff like that, um, you know, Celsius to Fahrenheit. I don't think you need too much of that section. But they're going to make you do fuel calculations where you need to do weight. And they might give it to you in pounds, they might give it in kilo, they might want kilo or they might want pounds or gallons or whatever. And you're going to need that.